He is one of the top NHL forwards, young forwards for the Arizona Coyotes, and his goal is to inspire and help educate Canadians on diabetes awareness. Please welcome second-generation NHL star Max Domi. It's so nice to have you here. Thanks for having me. Um, so first off, let's talk about this this website because you know it, it's one thing to make the NHL; it's another completely to make it with uh, a, a something that you have to deal with every day, which is diabetes. Yeah. Uh, well, obviously, I'm a type one diabetic, and um, we did some work last year with. Uh, with some stuff and uh, this year we're launching a new website which just launched today actually and it's uh, powerbyaccuracy.ca and it's um, I mean a partnership with Contour Next and um, we're just kind of spreading the word uh, about what it's like to live with diabetes and um, you can check out a bunch of stuff like with what my story is like other people living with it and um, I mean the whole thing is, is I'm trying to coach you to help you out and, and to show that I mean anyone can really live an extraordinary life and um, I mean I'm playing the NHL, so it hasn't yeah. stopped me one bit. Well, and when you first were, were diagnosed, what did they tell you about your limitations physically? You know what? The first question I actually asked was if I could still play hockey. Um, How old were you? I was 12 years old. Oh, and uh, the doctor's like, are you kidding? Of course you can. So as soon as you said that, I was like, all right, I don't really care about anything else. I'm good. Just, <laughs> let's just try and speed this up a little bit. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And when you, when you had to adjust to that, at 12 years old, you don't want to do anything. You don't, yeah. don't want to be regimented about anything. And you had to kind of figure that out, right? I mean, you didn't navigate that. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it's, it's, uh, it's a really complex disease and not a lot of people know about it. And I had no idea. My family didn't really know a whole lot either. Um, but um, it's, it's something that's very manageable and with, I mean, a good team behind you and with my doctors and, and friends and trainers and, and teammates and all that stuff, I, I figured out a pretty good routine and uh, I got it down to almost a science now. So it's working out and I'm just trying to spread the word and, and help people out as, as much as I can. Now, when I, sit, when I sat down with, with Max just a little bit earlier, I'm going to let you in on a little secret and Max is probably going to kill me for this. Um, he said, you pump about the Leafs? <laughs> so, should we be pumped about the Leafs this year? Yes, you should. Really? Yeah. Okay, so what, you, you, you've played, you played against Austin Matthews. Yep. You've played with Mitch Marner, another one of their top prospects. What are your, what are your thoughts on these guys? They're going to be good. They're, they're going to be good for sure. I mean, I'm, I'm going to get in trouble for saying that, but uh, okay. well, no, I mean, they're, well, that's they're in the Eastern Conference, so it's fine. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean, Austin's a great kid, and, and so is Marner, so I'm looking forward to see how they do next year. And uh, you also played the new Leafs goaltender a lot last year as he was in Anaheim, uh, Frederick Anderson. Yep, he's uh, also a stud. Yeah, so he is. Yep. You think so? Yep. Okay. And you don't walk around just calling anyone a stud. No, I don't. It's <laughs> very so selective. And now you've come from, obviously, you grew up a Leafs fan. Ty played with the Leafs. Um, you, you, you go down to Arizona. Yep. And you can golf after you play hockey there. Uh, how, how's life changed for you? Uh, well, hockey still does come first. Golf is second. Yep. But, um, I mean, it's, it's awesome being down there and, I mean, the healthy li lifestyle. And especially with, with what I got going on with, with my health condition and stuff, it makes it a lot easier on me. But, mm -hmm. um, I mean, the, the guys are outstanding. I mean, the training staff and coaching staff and, and everyone in the organization is first class all the way. And we really don't get enough credit for the fans down there. And, I mean, hopefully uh, we got some more success coming our way in, in the near future. Well, best of luck. I hope you guys make the playoffs this year. Thanks, Adam. I, I hope it, we do, right? too. <laughs> <laughs> we might have to Deal. wait a couple years for that. Um, so the website, again, so people can find it? Uh, powerbyaccuracy.ca. And you can just check it out. And for every share, actually, we, uh, they donate a dollar to, to research and, and advocacy. So... Um, please go and share that, that uh, website and help me out. Max, awesome. thanks for being up this early for us. Thanks for having me. Much appreciated. You can head to breakfasttelevision.ca for more info. We'll be right back on VT.